here in a PA Organic Garden. Uh, it's going to be one of the last days we're going to be outdoors, so I figured I'd show you uh, what's still growing here, uh, as well as I want to show you my indoor plants I have going. So come on and take a look. There's my, call it my salad box. You got some kale, lettuce. Uh, there's some arugula right there. There's spinach in there. Even Swiss chard. But that's still all going really healthy and nice. So, you know, we can pick out a salad every night if we want to. The asparagus is all finishing off. You can see it's turning a beautiful golden yellow color. Uh, coming to the end of its life. The box beside that, we have the garlic I planted. Uh, obviously hasn't sprouted yet. Uh, but then I topped it off with uh, some composted horse manure. And, uh, you know, bedding, obviously. But I put, uh, let's say... 12 to 15 uh, bulbs of garlic in there, something like it. Still haven't laid, yes I know, I still haven't laid down my uh, wood chips that I'm going to put down, but I'll get to that eventually here before winter. Goji berries finishing up for the winter. You can see I'm going to ha have all these berries to still harvest. I'll get them tonight, or today. There's the strawberry box. Uh, I've still got some spinach right there and some lettuce. And some more spinach right there. But I will be uh, topping this off as well. Uh, I may just use leaves. I've actually been collecting uh, leaves from people, you know, bagging them up and putting them on the street, just throwing money away. And then these three uh, barrels. Uh, stuff's kind of getting old. Uh, lettuce is actually starting to get a little bit bitter. So I haven't been eating off this as much. More that box. And the broccoli. Which, who knows if I'm going to end up with broccoli or not. But, it's alive. That's about it for the outdoor plants. Um, come on in and we'll take a look at the indoor plants. You see right now, I just have them set in front of this window. Uh, when they're not getting as much light here later in the winter, I will be probably adding, uh, I'm not sure yet, probably just some T5s, uh, maybe a metal halidide, I'm not sure yet. But uh, here you can see I actually have harvested the two lemons that were growing on my Meyer lemon tree. They were really, really good. Uh, really lemony, but they also had like a slight orange uh, hint to it. So you could definitely tell there was some type of orange or mango or something like crossed with it. Uh, it's not just 100% pure lemon. Uh, it's really good though. The dwarf Cavendish banana plant. You can actually see I have multiple plants. There's one, two, three, four, five, maybe six there. Seven, even. But uh, I will eventually be just keeping this one and harvesting out the rest of them. And uh, transplanting them into separate pots. Hopefully they all survive. But you can see even with all of them in there right now. Uh, it's still thriving. Uh, next up we have some pineapples. Here's the one that I started in water. And then the one that I started directly in the soil is right here. That's still a lot smaller. Uh, I will actually be transplanting it soon. Sometimes you get little plants that pop up. 
And then behind it there, that's a lemon that I started from an organic lemon seed. Uh, uh, it's not the Meyer lemon, it's actually a, just a pure, like, whole lemon. It is organic, I got from the grocery store. But you can see it's nice and healthy. I'll be probably transplanting it today, actually, into a slightly larger pot. And then here is the mango. The mango that I started from the pit. Uh, you can see, I think I mixed up my foliar spray a little thick last time. You can see it's kind of still on there. I'll have to give it another foliar spray, like a lot lighter solution. I usually use a really light solution, but I just accidentally mixed it a little much last time. Uh, here's a pepper plant. Uh, honestly, at this point, I forgot to label it. I have no clue which one it was. Uh, it could be a reaper or a bell. Uh, could be lipstick or even a ghost pepper. Uh, it's most likely, I'm going to say one of the hot peppers or a bell pepper though. Not really sure. I just actually uh, transplanted this into this slightly bigger pot uh, about two days ago. But you can see it's, you know, pretty healthy. Looking pretty good for just sitting in the window. That's about it for today. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you all next time.